previously on Super Mario 63! Uh. You're going to find a level 2. Use your green shine spray there. Hey, it's the shine spray! Dang, you know it. You have to hit the switch to open up the windows. Welcome back to my Super Mario 63 walkthrough, and sorry for the short um, intro video, but um, I had to. Thanks! Back, and now we are going to be doing Bowser's mm -hmm. Castle, and I didn't mean to do that. And we're not going to Bowser's Castle, we're just going to his second trap. I've already done it, but yeah, enough breaking the fourth wall. Or is it the third one? I really don't know. Wait! Yeah, there's a secret there. I will save that for later. You, Platypus Man! Help me, I'm drowning! Just kidding! I'm not really drowning, you see. I'm not even told him to disguise it as one. I'm really a Platypus! Yeah, I'm a Platypus in a toad costume. I'm here to investigate the water quality of the castle. It's part of my role as the aquatic it just center. Scooch a chair underneath the oh my goodness! Chair. It's a platypus shaped toad! Okay. Slam down, get to the bottom of the door, and there is Bowser's second trap, the ancient fortress! Yeah, that's right. Epicosity! Oh dear. <laughs> I could have delete, just deleted all of the videos, but I decided not to because it would be too much work and yada yada yada. So, technically speaking, I have finished my new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the finale. I tried to make it epic. I even put in high def just for you guys. But, um, I don't really know if you appreciated it. I hope you did. Put lots of work into that. He is tired. He's like this. He's like this. <laughs> Jump! Yeah! yeah big I'm like not going to do the Avery coins. I'm Mario, not some insane. I died. And guess what? I'm on three minutes. Amazing. And the fate of the universe depended on that information, didn't it? Yep. Don't you guys just hate it when people answer your sarcastic comments with, like, dead seriousness? It's annoying. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Dear me! Oh dear, hey. oh dear, oh dear! I am going to die. I didn't need to do that. But because I'm insane, I had to. Jump upwards for glory and get coins. Great. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me. This is insanity. Insanity plus jump. Hello, Nathan. Hi. We are now on four minutes, five minutes. All right. I died. What? Does he want the warnings? No, I don't. I don't know why. Okay, take this one. That's what I asked. And shun! Yeah! Epic ponage powers. And boom! Not what I wanted to do! That works. Run! The 
This is a very difficult battle, actually. Um, I was getting worried you caught onto my plan and was trying to stop me, but of course, your ignorance has led you straight into another trap. Now, with you here, I can go straight ahead to the next step of my master plan, which is to destroy you. I just died, that's all. Just a battle won't stop my master plan. I still have the orb of power. You see, the final step is about to begin. Hi, Laura. Brian here. This is Soon, Prince, all uh, of Mushroom Kingdom will be a small little Dr. pile Silver, of molten rubble. Every pitiful yeah, rock and tree shall burn and disintegrate in scorching heat. Will that work for you guys? So we bought some. Uh, hey, we've been here. All the worthless creatures of the Mushroom Kingdom shall perish in an engulfing pyrotechnic. The entire world will meet its fiery demise. Genius. The Orb of Power will grant me unimaginable magical abilities, allowing me to summon a meteor. The meteor of ultimate destruction. To crash down into Princess Peach's castle, incinerating the entire pitiful landscape into a raging inferno. As an apocalyptic explosion completely obliterates and eradicates the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Except my specially fortified castle, of which resides a defensive force field. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. An utter extermination of the world. Then, after my meteor purged of all its miserable creatures it now has, my master no, race of no, Koopas, those loyal Koopas of which were protected within my castle, <laughs> will expand out into all of the Mushroom Kingdom with me so as a supreme ruler. No, chop, chop now, with the orb of power I have got, my dream of ruling the world oh, yeah, shall finally it. succeed. The end has come, you worthless pile of pixelized sludge. Pixelized sludge. Yeah. You shall suffer the molten madness about to be summoned upon this powerless kingdom. No. 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 That was epic. Are you died? No, you didn't. No, you did not. No, you did not. Anyways, that we won. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Sure. Mario, you're back! Yeah. I was wondering why you were taking uh -huh. so long in that underground fortress. I know, I was just going to wipe that clear. But I'm overjoyed that you're back in. Else. Um, you look exhausted! This week. That's, that's all. It looks as if you just escaped Bowser's clusters with the next key. The next key? No, okay. <laughs> Good reality check. That means we can get to the final rooms of the castle and see the princess. Sure. But Bowser isn't oh, foolish enough to just leave the princess Probably inside her own castle. Yeah. Bowser must have locked the princess inside his own castle. Bowser's castle. Yeah. Okay. What well, was I'm that? Totally here, so. Attention okay. Mushroom Dealer. Kingdom. This is King Bowser, Lord of the Koopas and soon to be Supreme Ruler of the World. 
In a few short days, you'll no longer be alive. That sums it up. I may have kidnapped your dear Princess Peach. And may have taken over the castle. But until now, I wasn't able to take over you. Now that I have the ancient orb of power in my control, I have the ability to summon a meteor. The meteor of ultimate destruction that in two days shall crash into the castle. Exterminating the entire Mushroom Kingdom with it. However, your dear princess was wise enough to join size with me. During the apocalypse, she'll be at the only safe place left on the planet. My castle. Join me or meet your demise. You have two days left to decide. But the, the princess would never do that. She never betrayed the child of the Russian kingdom. What is this talk about a meteor? Meteor of ultimate destruction. Ah! Oh my Goomba, we're all gonna die. Oh my Goomba. Yeah. We have to join Bowser. No, everyone, we have to run in circles. Everybody calm down. Which one's I need? That guy with the wide pixelized eye or that guy? I'm sure the Bowser's just making all that stuff up. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! You, you might have been in the way of my camera, but I don't know. Well, even if the meteor isn't a bluff, we have Mario on our side. Mario can stop Bowser before any harm is done. Yeah. But then you hear Bowser, he has this orb of power. Even I don't think Mario's that good. I'll take refuge of Bowser's castle just in case. You should have done an anime fall. We don't need you, coward. Grr. But now, how are you supposed to reach Bowser? The guards at the gate around Bowser's castle would lend him to the Goomba. But if Mario shows up, they would obviously refuse to let him in. Yeah. Goombas, Goombas aren't even that unintelligent. Mario's Bowser's arch enemy. Bowser would never let Mario get that close to stopping him. Enemy fall. Sneak him in. No, just last month, me and my family went on a vacation to Bowser's castle. Why would you want to do that? It's utterly impossible to sneak in. They have guards around every corner and every gate. Yada, yada, yada. The only way in is through the air, far above the gates and towers. Oh. Then we must find a different way to get into Bowser's castle. The Sling Star! Yes. <gasps> Tybo! It's Eddie! I'm not Eddie with two Ds. Yes! Yes! We can use the Super Slime Skies. Look at it in the uppermost tower. <gasps> I don't be I ice cream. Mario will then be able to fly over all these obstacles. It's so like <gasps> Mario is hurrying, getting those shots right around his phone, Mr. Slime Star. Yeah. Um, I'm an anime fall? Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye. Um, where is the button?